In this video, we'll learn about uh, measuring website performance. We'll learn what it means to measure a website performance. We'll learn about how do we go about measuring it. We'll uh, talk about very briefly about tools, open source tools available to measure it. And mainly we'll focus on why do we measure in the first place. So let's get started. So what are we trying to do? We're trying to measure how the end user of your website feels about your site speed, how fast or how slow your website is for an end user. Because for a big internet scale company, users are everywhere on, in every country. And different country has different site speed and performance of your website. This is why most people in the advanced uh, countries use really high-end computers. They have access to um, really great internet connections and most of the web servers of the big sites are in those advanced countries. So the site relatively loads really fast. For example, your same site can load in the United States in four seconds but it might take seven seconds or more. This is just an example for the same site to load. Many reasons. People in advanced countries might have a sh uh, might not have access to really high um, end computers. They might not have great internet connections. They might be using dial-up. So the amount of time it takes for your website to load depends on a lot of factors. How fast the CPU of your end user is, what the internet connection is, and what CDN they are using, what is the nearest pop available to them, and things like that. So basically, you're trying to measure whoever your user is and what their experience is in terms of your site speed, like how fast your page loads. So how do we go about doing this? How do we measure how fast you know your website loads? So there are a lot of browser events um, like the page load event so we can use JavaScript if you if you use JavaScript you can using the web timing spec you can find out a lot of lot of things like uh, how much time it took for the DNS to resolve how much time it took for the download event to fire when was the time it that the first byte arrived from your website and how much time it took for the about the full contents to render. So you can instrument counters on your on your website page, which typically looks like this. You have some head section with some CSS, you have a body section with some content, and you have some JavaScript content at the very end of your body. So you can add some counters before, like JS monitoring here stands for some counting mechanism that takes how much time it takes for your JavaScript content to be downloaded, parsed, and executed. So you can have counters before and after your JavaScript content. You can have counters before and after your CSS content. And you can use all of those counters along with all of the download times, the time to first byte, using the navigation spec. So most of the A-grade browsers have that. Having gathered all of this data, you can send that data back to your server for analysis, you can send it asynchronously using AJAX. So it's basically instrumenting it on the client side with a bunch of counters and aggregating all of that data and sending it back to your server for analysis. There are a lot of open source tools. One of the really famous ones is Boomerang. It um, allows you to do end user performance monitoring and also sends you the data at your server with the URL that you specify. It also does something uh, to detect your end users bandwidth so check it out this is the link for boomerang the main question like why do we do this well faster your site is the faster the users are going to get their job done and they're going to use your site more and eventually that will directly or indirectly lead to more revenue coming into your company other main important point is to measure if your site is up and available for the end user. 
Well, someone said, if you cannot uh, measure it, you cannot fix it. So basically, this is the main thing. If you want to measure it in terms of your end users, how they feel your site is. And um, once we have those numbers, then you can, you know, work on using the right CDN, optimizing your page size, using advanced techniques to faster uh, page delivery, and a lot of things. And there's been a lot of research that shows how site speed directly affects engagement, how it affects your page views, how it affects your CTRs, the quick through rates. You can also measure things like abandonment rate and uh, engagement. So basically we're measuring it so that we'll know how the end user is perceiving your site performance. What next? Well, there are a lot of videos and uh, related to site speed, they're going to be coming next. You can download all the content of this video using this bit.ly link. There'll be the presentation, all the content, the images that I've used, and you can reuse it for your purpose without um, any license. Thank you.